You could see every ounce of disbelief on Josh Allen's face. With just 13 seconds left on the game clock, Kansas City Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes snatched away what had seemed like a shocking, and certain, come from behind upset for Allen and his Buffalo Bills. Thanks to the quirky rules of NFL overtime, Allen never stepped foot on the field again, watching from the sidelines as Mahomes delivered the final blow by threading the needle on a strike to tight end Travis Kelsey in the back corner of the end zone. It was a devastating loss, but not without a consolation prize. In March, the Bills star quarterback will collect a $42.4 4 million bonus as part of the six-year, $258 million contract he signed in 2021. It was the second largest pact in NFL history, according to Spotrac, trailing only Mahomes 10-year, $450 million mega deal from 2020. The paydays put the two quarterbacks in line to become two of the highest career on-field earners the league has ever seen. For almost 15 years, the Tom Brady Peyton Manning tug of war dominated primetime, delivering some of the most highly anticipated matchups the league had to offer. Their star power, and success, gave them the leverage to strike massive deals as the league pivoted the sport more toward passing. In 18 NFL seasons, Peyton Manning pulled in $249 million in on-field earnings. $63 million of which came in his post Indianapolis Colts swoon with the Denver Broncos. Brady, through 22 seasons, has $293 million on the field under his belt, with just above $25 million on the books for next year if he chooses to return.